if this strategy worked and everybody used it, then everybody would be rich. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Shut up. Stop using the same sentence over and over again. It doesn't make sense. That's not true at all. If everybody used this strategy, it wouldn't work. Not because of the strategy. It wouldn't work because everybody is different. We could all have the same $10,000 right in front of us, meaning we could have the exact same trade, learn from the exact same person, see the exact same setup with the exact same confluences, and chances are the majority of people are not going to execute that trade. It's just physics. It's science. It's psychology. Nothing to do with the strategy at all. It deals with the individual person. Get out of here with that BS of if it's the strategy worked and everybody be rich. No, it's the person. One person does not care and executes what they see in front of them. The other person does. Pure or point blank simple. Whatever it is. Let's start the video. We keep it gangster and we keep it energized. And before I get into this video, first thing I want to say is Logan Paul's prime drink is definitely cracked out. And I'm not just saying that because he's my neighbor. It's really good. Neither here nor there. Let's get into this video. So this is a 2022 strategy video. And like I said in the intro, people want to talk about if this strategy could work for everybody, then everybody will be rich. That is the most idiotic sentence you could possibly say because everybody's psych is different. It's not the strategy. It's the person implementing it. So this is a 2022 strategy video and if you want to see you know my 2020 and 2021 strategy videos go to my youtube channel and just type strategy and you'll see this is 2020 and this is 2021 most importantly this is like an entry strategy that's different like this is an actual strategy video and so is this and back to this one i'm going to talk about everything from a beginner to an immediate to advanced on what you should be doing or Maybe not so much what you should be doing because some of y'all may not do everything verbatim and that's cool. But what I do every single time I'm on the charts, it does not change. There's, there's nothing that I'm hiding from you guys. There's no hidden secret, hidden agenda, holy grail. There's none of that. Everything I tell you guys in this YouTube video is exactly what I do. The only difference is it's the person implementing it. That's all it is. Somebody's going to wait 10 confluences for something they should have waited three confluences for. Somebody's going to wait for the perfect time. Somebody's going to get in an argument with their best friend at the, the time they should be entering a trade. Everything is different. Right into here. So I have added back these psychological round numbers, meaning uh, 1.35, 1.325, 1.30, 1 just for because I'm more of a swing trader. I've added it for. I'm actually getting kind of hot with this hat on. Ooh, it's kind of getting hot. These lights, excuse me. All right, this is good. Let me let me go back to the overall OBS. Yeah, I'll keep it just like this. Billionaire hoodie, y'all can see it on the swagacademy.com right now. Neither here nor there. Back to sharing the screen. So, I have these psych levels and these round numbers because I am more of a swing trader. So I'm looking at it from a daily perspective, four hour perspective, but really a daily perspective. So we look at it from here to here, to here, to here, to here. I have a set of rules that I go by. The first thing I do every single time that I go to a chart, I can even make this blank right now, remove drawing, make it blank. Obviously I'm gonna keep it on cause I've been, you know, working on this for, you know, the past, I don't know, few months before I deleted it in the past and did it all over again for my academy and a webinar. but. I have a set of rules that I kind of go by and the rules I will draw out for you right now on a text and I'll leave it right here for this video. I'm going to keep it uh, X right now. I'm going to keep it as a text right now and then I'm going to adjust it as time goes on. First thing I do is look at the technicals. That means look at everything that's going on. You, I don't want to hear anything about the news just yet. I don't want to hear about anything about anything. It's just me and the markets right now. What do I see with my eyes? And right now we see a clear massive drop. So there's no real way to get an entry right now because your stop loss would have to be up here. If anybody's new to this video, if you see a massive drop like this, chances are the market may retrace and a retracement means obviously it's gonna come right back up a little bit just to kind of correct itself. People are taking profits. It's the end of the month. The market's gonna correct itself a little bit to, to begin the new month in, in May. But for the most part, your stop loss would go above here because this is the last lower high before it, it uh, collapsed down. Lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, obviously meaning 
this high is lower than that high, which is lower than that high, which is lower than that high, which is lower than that high. So dropping all the way back down. Um, but I'm looking at the technicals to see what exactly do I see. And if you guys are very, very like specific and you guys want to really, really pay attention, go back and watch the last Secure the Swag episode videos. This episode right here that was five days ago, I made this video in March, I want to say. And it's funny because somebody commented and was like, hey, did you make this video a while ago, a few weeks ago? Because you're, t you're talking about gold, you know, and it's nowhere near that price right now. It dropped like you said it would, but it's like, are you just going back in hindsight or did you actually make this video weeks ago? I made the video weeks ago and I can literally prove it to you guys. Somewhere in this video, I'll put a pop-up that, that shows me and Brandon and the whole team working on it from March, uh, episode three of Secure the Swag. Neither here nor there. In that episode, I said GU would, is at 1.32, is going to head to 1.27500. Guess where uh, GU is going? It is continuously dropping and dropping and dropping because the pound is directly affected by what is going on. So that is dropping all the way down and I do see it, foresee it going to 1.27. Like all the way down here. And what did it do? It headed all the way down here. And then when price was right here, I'll go to forward time frame. Price was right here, just a little bit retracing and collapsing, like just consolidating for a little bit, little by little. And I got on a webinar on my academy and said, hey guys, people was like, hey, what are you thinking about GU? What are things gonna do? GU is going to get to 1.25, period, flat out. It's getting all the way down here to 1.25. If you're asking me what I am trading, I am trading GU down another 200 pips. And sure enough, not even a few hours later, it's at 1.25. 25 well a few hours later obviously but it's at 1.25 it got there um and and that comes with the experience but the experience is going to come from hours and hours of back testing and looking at the market so number one first thing i do oh, so let me actually go from the beginning so 2022 day trading strategy one technicals come to the market and analyze everything see um what time your pair likes sorry your pair likes to move you know what i mean like what session um how often it moves how many pips it moves just just study the pair like like the legs like does it go like 100 pips down this leg and then retrace and then 100 more pips the second leg retrace like what is it like to do look at everything it wants to do um see uh what area it's next to like support, resistance, the key levels. Uh, search for any candlesticks and any candlestick patterns, etc. Everything technically related, right? So if you look at my chart from, from a technical perspective, I'm actually make this a little bit uh, lower, like let's say 24, that'll work. Look at this, right? Not only do I have my key levels on here, but if you go back, I have a long-term trend line right here. A, B, C, D, even E right here didn't quite touch a little bit, even at C, but still we're counting it, right? Long-term trend line with five bounces and it comes down and it comes up. And now, so this trend line is now a longer, AKA an outer trend line, right? So this is not really applicable until let's say we bring this little, it's a decent, oh my gosh, excuse me, sorry guys. It's a descending triangle, I need this one. That's what I need, yeah. But this were to, price were to break above here and then we're looking at it to get above here you know what i mean but as of right now um we have this uh, descending triangle right so we have this long-term trend line and then we have a little mini key area people are looking at what is this yellow border this yellow border is more so like a daily key area a four-hour key area right like these are like my weekly my monthly key areas like they're really really major psychological round numbers these areas can be placed anywhere right anywhere that i see price stop at and it stopped that in the past, like obviously then I will place it there because it didn't just stop here, right? It stopped right over here as well. If I can dra drag this over a little bit, but it stopped right over here as well, you know, consolidated right here before finally breaking through and coming back up. So this shows me that is a very, very strong level. And if I want to come over here, I'm pretty sure right here, price stopped right here as well. This big wick for pushing back up, right? So if, I, if you look over here really quickly, this one right here, right? So um that's where i have these yellow borders on and price obviously came back up and stopped here and um once it stopped it's, it's coming back down now this stop i would not have known it was going to stop here you know what i mean beforehand so it, i could either have the border on beforehand or could have waited and then once once it made that second move which is this one then put the border on that's 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 more so hindsight that's not what i'm really really into right now 
Um, but I'm talk, telling, telling you guys like where my technicals are and why they're there. And the first thing I'm doing to come to the market as a strategy, right? I'm looking at everything, right? And then we have this descending triangle. And you may say, oh, how do you know it's a descending triangle? Simple, because once you study long enough, you kind of, you know what things are, right? So I can delete this and delete this and look at it from a, oh, it's a, it's a basic trend line, basically. I can either do this. This is just a simple, basic trend line. But then you look at, at, at this and you remember descending triangle is something that has, bring this up a little bit. Here we go. It's something that has, oh my gosh, my bag too. Um, here we go. It is something that has the same support level, you know, every single time. It's not really bouncing. It's like a, a double, a double bottom, triple bottom, quadruple bottom, but it's making lower highs and the candlesticks are getting lower and lower in here. And then we'll have a collapse all the way down. So right now my technicals are fully sound. I'm expecting a little bit of consolidation in between these two areas, maybe even a retracement. Do I see GU coming anywhere lower? Potentially, but if it does, it is, it is getting to around this 1.23, 1.225 area, and nothing. It's not. I don't. I don't. I, don't, I highly doubt it gets to like 1.23938 and then push all the way back up, unless it's like a, a, a wick or something like that. But if price closes below this area after retracing, yeah, I see it getting down to about 1.225, which it has done several times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven times in the last three years. So I can definitely see it getting that low again, especially with the US dollar being very, very strong right now. And this is where the analysis comes into play um, in terms of overall understanding what the market is doing right now the u.s dollar is very very strong it's a very safe haven asset it is the, the most stable economy right now with what's going on with obviously COVID, obviously still but most importantly you know ukraine and, and russia right now and we're going to talk about that a little bit later but russia is cutting off more and more supplies to the euro and everybody's just rushing to the united states right now in terms of obviously economies something that's stable um u.s can produce the same same amounts of certain things as Russia, such as you know, gas and, and oil and things of that nature, um, and um, I want want to be very very uh, specific on on what I'm talking about right now, which is going to bring me to my second point right now. After you get all the technicals in in place and everything, like there, there's no more technicals I can have. Like I have all my key areas, I have my daily areas, I have my my trend lines right here, I have my descending trend line. Once you get that all out the way, second thing you want to focus on is fundamentals. And when I say fundamentals, I don't Again, Forex Factory is not fundamentals. Like, I, I want to I be very, very specific on that. Like, a lot of people are very, very in tune. And it was like, oh, I went on Forex Factory and I saw a red folder. What does that red folder mean? That, that does nothing for you. Now, Forex Factory can be helpful, but it is not fundamentals. Fundamentals meaning check what news announcement, sorry, announcement can and will affect your pair. and why it does that seek rumors rumors lead to uh and a, rumors lead to uh, actions on a chart right so when i mean rumors i don't mean like gossip rumors i mean like when analysts and a lot of analysts are saying this may happen this may happen this may happen chances are it's going to happen right it leaves clues and a lot of people will do one or the other. They focus strictly on fundamentals and not the technicals or on the technicals and not the fundamentals. For the most part, I know most people who just focus on technicals and that's it. But you need to look at trading view, the right side, Kitco and daily FX slash FX street. These are, these are all amazing websites that'll help you understand what's going on in terms of like fundamentals. So when I was talking earlier about Russia, you know, earlier um, I was trading. No, 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 I wasn't trading. I was trading GU and GA, but uh, somebody in my academy asked me to uh, analyze uh, Euro and I wasn't trading Euro USD, but I was analyzing it and I, I believe it was gonna go down because of what was going on and how strong the DXY was. DXY is obviously the United States against a basket of six currencies. So how, how strong is the United States versus this, this six currencies? Obviously, it's very, very strong right now, and it shows how big of a push it's been going up. But I was talking about this on the, the webinar. If you look at EURUSD, um, 
which what I, what I want to click is this right here, news. Everybody seems to forget this. They want to have their, their, their watch list right here, and that's it. They, 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 they skip alerts. They skip the news. They skip everything over here, the calendar, everything. News will be your best friend, right? It'll be your best friend. Everything here from two days ago, two days ago, two days ago. Like It's nothing to just look at this and just click it and just look at what's to come of it, right? It's a simple article that you can read on, you know, China, which obviously will, will affect the U.S. Uh, market and the Euro market. Go over here. Oh, hang on. This, this is the D, but this is still the DXY. This is not Euro. It needs to be the Euro. I'm about to say China. That's that's the United States. That's the dollar. This is GU right now. I need Euro. There we go. Euro USD. So this is all Euro USD related, like ECB. European Central Bank, US dollar, Euro crash, Euro crash. It's nothing to just literally click it, Euro crash. Why is the Euro crashing? What's going on? Bears too big, blah, blah, blah. It's over and over again. And there was an article that I read a few days ago that I went over with my academy. And it was about Russia in particular. I go to Google and I type, uh, let's say Forex, Euro, Russia. Cause I read the article, um, energy. Here, Euro rate. Low puts parity in spotlight as Russia ups the ante, right? And you actually read this and talk with the euro decline as much as 1% to 1 1.0534. You look at over here, 1.05, round 34, which is around this area right here, or around this area right here. And you go back to this, and it's because after Russia cut off gas to Poland and Bulgaria, surpassing the tro, oh uh, yeah, the tro reached in the early weeks of the pandemic in March of 2020. Now I mentioned this, if, went to the weekly time frame, right? This was where the euro was, the euro dollar was during the pandemic when they first announced everybody's on lockdown. We have no vaccine. We don't know what the hell is going on, but everybody stay home. This was how low euro got, right? Euro USD got during that time. If it got lower right now because Russia is cutting off energy and supplies to euro, since obviously Russia is an exporting nation, that's bad. <laughs> that is bad. This does not. This. It, People fail to realize and think, oh, like, and this ties back into the strategy, right? Like, why am I trading certain pairs? How do I go about certain pairs? I'm giving you guys a day in the life of, of, of my actual strategy, right? And again, my strategy is not some holy grail and some end all be all. I'm just telling you guys how I trade. And if you guys like it, great. And I'm hoping it can help you guys. Um, but if you don't, then I understand, you know, right? So, okay, cool. Sorry. So back to what I was saying, like when, when, when you're looking at this and you're looking at this right here, this is the lowest it got from the pandemic and started going higher and higher and higher. If it got this low now, that is bad, right? And it's not, this, this Russia-Ukraine war is not stopping anytime soon. Russia is not, you know, going to stop, you know, pulling back and withdrawing anytime soon, like whatsoever, which means if you go back to the article, what did it says? Parody, 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 which is a very, very key word i want you guys to pay attention to that as we talk about it right when we go down the euro was last on par with the dollar back in two, uh 2002 what does parity mean what does on par mean that means 1.00 flat that means it's on par one euro equals one dollar period you, you you give <laughs> you you have a dollar in europe you go to the united states you get a dollar you dollar back vice versa parity right and the last time it was, it was it was like that was 2002 but if you're looking at this article and you're reading the article and they're talking about it and talking about it, we remain short. This is an actual quote, right? We remain short on the euro with parity as a target for the end of the quarter. Now, the end of the quarter, April, May, June. June will be, or well, the end of June, will be the end of Q2, which is quarter number two, right? Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. They're saying by the end of Q2, price will be at 1.00 or very, very close to it. Now, I want you guys to watch this video. I don't know when you guys are watching this video. You guys may watch it now when it drops. You guys may watch it in December. You guys may not even know my channel and watch it next year, right? But whenever you come across this video, if it happens to be in four or five or six months, I want you to pay attention and go see where EURUSD will be at in June of, right here, around the time, around June of 2022. So if you see this video in February of 2023, just go back, just go back in time and see where it was. And if it was close to 1.00, it showed you flat out that, hey, fundamentals are a very big thing. You should take them into consideration when you're trading, right? Like if I'm looking at this pair right now, and obviously I'm, I'm, a, I'm a swing trader, right? I'm looking at this right now. Now, from a 15-minute time frame, 
you, and you're trying to scalp it, it's it's very very hard. Like I don't want to, uh, like shoot down the dreams of a scalper, but it's very very hard to scalp. But if those if you are scalping and you are making money in the market, like all the props in the world to you because scalping is 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 not a game. It's it's actually it's very difficult, right? But you're looking at swinging the euro, right? Down to 1.05. That is a lot. It's a lot of money. It's 500 pips, right? It's a lot of money, right? Looking at it. With 500 pips on the line, yeah, the market, getting in right now would be kind of hard because your stop loss have to be up here. This is the last, you know, lower high. We're hoping for, which we will most likely get, chances are it will be a retracement. It can be as little as this. And then on its way down to 1.05, it's, it's not going to go straight down. That's just not what it's going to do, right? It's going to take its time. If I can stay on the drawing mode for a second, it's going to come down and break this level, then come up, retest this level, and come down, and then come up. And then by the time it gets to, you know, 1.00 and it's on, on parity, don't mind this date because I just made it very, very wide. It'll be late June, like the analyst said, right? Like these things happen, you know, for a reason, you know? And I, I was reading Trading in the Zone earlier, which if you guys have not read that, you guys are seriously mistaken. It is the greatest trading book in the world. Um, go to um, my academy if you would like to, well, you got to go to my academy and log in because we kind of have this going on right now. But if, if you sign in on the back and you'll see... Um, you see everything on the back end in terms of, am I logged in anywhere? Okay, right, logged in right here. Okay, you'll see the back end in terms of, um, I don't know, it should be here. I don't know where it's at. It's bugging right now. But there should be uh, books and all that stuff here. I don't know why. So maybe I'm logged out or something. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm not tripping. Yeah, so books should be here. I know, I know I'm not tripping, right? Like, But books should be here. You can, and trading in the zone should be somewhere around here, right here. And you'll see... My review on trading in the zone, why I think it's very, very good. It's one of the best trading books in the world. A lot of things are highlighted. But if you want to read this book, you should. Um, and um, I unfortunately lost my point until where I was talking about with this, which is very, 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 very frustrating. But I'm not going to stop the video because I, I brought up trading in the zone for a reason. Um, and I'm going to watch the video back and I'm going to be very, very upset because I, I knew exactly like what I should be saying, but it is what it is. This is still my, my tragedy video, which I'm gonna keep going, right? Cause I had a point, like I had a point to make when it came to that book, what I just said. I'm gonna remember when I watch it back, but see the near the end of that, right? Um, but this is where it should be by the time it gets to where it's gonna get to, right? Um, oh, that was the point, duh. I remember, it's the prime that's making me remember, you feel me? Nah, so um, what I was saying was that in trading in the zone, in the first, I don't know, 10 pages, um, Mark Douglas, rest his soul, he talks about um, people move price, right? Not not mathematical equations, people move price. So when you're reading all these articles and you're seeing all these analysis saying, hey, the dollar may be on, or the euro may be on par with the dollar and blah, 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 over and over again, chances are it's going to be there, right? Like as a day trader, you may get stopped out and be like, man, this is crazy because as a day trader, you're getting in and out, in and out every single day and getting in a hundred times every single day in and out for 31 days, yeah, you may get incur a lot of losses. When you're looking at it from, it's at 1.05. Sometime in the next three months, it is going to it is going to make its way to 1.00 flat, most most likely, right? With with the exception of, you know, Russia and Ukraine calling a peace and, and they're stopping and then everything goes back to normal, which it probably won't go back to normal, but with the exception of something like that, chances are to go from 1.05 to 1.00 flat. What are you gonna do about it, right? Trade it in that direction. So I don't even be looking for sales. So back to um, GBP USD. Um, if I can get back here, get to my actual notes. Now, very, very important, right? Number three, see if a trade presents itself, right? I mean, down the line, I mean, right this second. Maybe down, uh, it would be right this second, either right this second or down the line. Down the line meaning means you see the market will do X, Y, and Z, but only if it breaks a certain area. I could jump right into four, right? 
because it kind of goes hand in hand. Number four, set alerts. I can't emphasize this enough. This is the most important thing, in my opinion, to allow you to have a life while you're still on the charts. And what that means is this will be your best friend right here, this alert. You don't know how many alerts I set every single time. I, I want to track the price over and over again. So if I'm looking at this, if you're watching this video, you ask me what am I going to do? The reason why I'm going to set an alert is because I want to live my life. I want to read books. I want to travel. I want to be with my wife. I want to you know, do other things. But I, if the market is moving, I don't want to miss the market, right? So I'm going to set alerts so that whenever that alert is ready, it's going to text my phone like, yo, you know, boom, boom like beep, 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 like uh, GBP USD is breaking below this level. Like that's literally how it is, right? I'm gonna set alerts. So that means if the market's right here, right? And let's actually go back in time a little bit, right? Because when the market was over here, and let's say we made this, this black candle, I set alerts down here and I set an alert up here. Why? Because if I'm off my phone, the market can't do nothing. Nobody can make money really when the market's really consolidating, right? So if it's just staying right here, I'm never gonna get a text. If I never get a text, there's nothing to worry about. Market's not moving. But it, if it breaks below, I'm gonna get a text that said, hey, the market's breaking below, so I can open my chart on my phone instantly and see what it's doing. If it breaks above, I can see what it's doing. Like, hey, price is breaking above. It's about to break structure. It's about to take out C, B, and A, right? Right, so you wanna set an alert everywhere. I don't know how, I, I, like this is this is something that people don't understand. So what I'm gonna do, since price is up here, I'm pro I'm gonna set an alert. I'm gonna set an alert right here in front of you. Excuse me, uh, around 1.26. You know, set an alert anywhere, and then I, I, I like to place it physically in my hand. Um, more action. Make sure to put send email to SMS because they will text you. Um, I will probably place it. Let's do somewhere around here because this would be a pretty good. I want 500. Be a pretty good retracement. And then I'm gonna put one around right here. 1.224. Reason being, I mean, 1.244. Reason being is because um, if price gets this low. Right, and it's getting closer to this area. I want to be here before the front. I don't want to be here. Uh, like price is way up, up here already, right? It's already right here. So if it goes a little bit more pips and hits this, great. But right here, I'm not going to place it a little bit below because price is way up here. I'm going to place it right here because if price is dropping, chances are it already made a lower high and a lower low, and I can get in on the structure and I'm basically I can watch it break this level and try to close below it because it never closed below it up right over here and then head down. Even on a weekly time frame, like I'm going to wait for it to close on a weekly time frame because even though it closed below 1.25 on a daily time frame, if you look at the weekly time frame, what did it do? It closed above. It made sure it didn't close uh, close below. Why? Because if it closes below, it's just going to have to follow up. It's not going to just close uh, below and then all of a sudden push all the way back up unless some major fundamental news isn't pushing it, right? Let me see how long this video is because I'm in my background. I have no plan on stopping anytime soon, but I need to stop sometime soon right um dropping right below there but it's heading right back up right and this is the end of the month too like april 30th right january February, march april okay so this is the last day so basically tomorrow <laughs> would be may 1st right so what that means is they did not want this to be below 1.25 you know to end april because that is a whole monthly candle that would have had to do that now they can get away with Oh, this was a major wick, and now we can do a little bit another wick down here, but now push price all the way back up and match and do whatever you want to do. If price were to close below this level, they have to justify it and now say, okay, price has to get to this next level and then push back up. That's just how the market works. But I'm setting my alerts. Set my alerts. This is the most important thing. You set your alerts and you walk away. And, and that brings my fifth point, fifth and final point. You walk away. Walk the Freak away. Walk the, I, I don't want to curse, but walk away. Live your life and return when the market texts you. And when it does, execute. It's that simple, fellas. It is that simple. Now, in terms of doing it all, it's not that simple because it's, it's never simple in terms of trading in the market because people have different things. People may put, people may not place the alerts, they may place the alert, but they may sleep through the alert. They may be out in public or out at the club and may not hear their phone and phone beeps. And you know how many times, like I, I know friends who are at the club, they place their alerts and everything and then they're partying and the music's loud and check their phone 20 minutes later and the market doesn't move, did exactly what they wanted to do. They couldn't even get in because the market just tanked or went all the way up. Uh, all the way up. It happens.
But this is my strategy. Like, there's, there's, there's nothing outlandish, nothing that's like hidden. There's no hidden secret. People who trade institutional trading think there's some hidden secret and hidden agenda that we're missing and we're just out of the loop and they're in some Illuminati group. Shut up. Like, it, it's, it's the same thing. It, it's... There's there there's no different from smart money concepts to price action. There there's no inside edge. If you think there's an inside edge from trading institutionally, you're a fool. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying you shouldn't trade that way. No, because it's a good strategy and the strategy works. What I'm saying is if you think there's some inside edge trading institutionally over any other way, yes, you're a fool. That that that's not the case. I've been here for eight years. Trust me, I, I would know more than. Some, I've had somebody who, like I said, I've had somebody who's trading for four months come in and tell me, you trade, this is how you trade, and I trade institutionally, how you trade is never going to work. Bro, I've been doing it since I was in college. You were, you were in eighth grade when, when, I, when I was trading, and now you're a freshman in, in, in college or a sophomore, and you're trying to say, this is what works, bro, go kick rocks and kiss a shark and go kiss the grass and touch a friend, like, do something, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, I don't know what, what you want from me, right? This is this is this is this is the uh, the, the the strategy, man. Um, this is the the overall strategy. I want you guys to pay attention to this as well. And um, what's what's really really important, and I want you guys to pay attention to this, is figure out what works for you and make it work the best. This is literally what I do, and I and I, and I make it work, right? I make it work the best of my abilities, and you know, um, not perfect. Um, sometimes I use a low lot size. Sometimes I use a high lot size. Sometimes I'll miss the trade. I just got to analyze. So I just missed the trade. It just is what it is. Um, but I try, try not to get too far out of, out of my comfort zone, out of my element. I do that with the same with everybody else. Look at the DXY. I compare the DXY. But like I said, it basically shows the strength of the U.S. dollar in comparison to a basket of other currencies like Swedish Krona and, and Canadian dollar and, and uh, uh, the British pound, the euro dollar, like all, all of that in general, right? Um, and then with gold, I really pay attention to gold because... Most most likely, for the most part, when the U.S. dollar is strong, gold is not. Um, gold is actually a safe haven, safe haven asset from the U.S. dollar. All right, but when the U.S. dollar is very very strong, the U.S. economy is strong. Gold is kind of melting, right? Gold is melting. But I was on Kitco the other day, and um, somebody had mentioned that. Uh, sorry, that they don't uh, see Kitco news. They don't see gold crashing any uh, much longer. Right here. Gold's correction it's right across the uh, won't last. Inflation is going to the moon, right? So I watch these. I, I watch all these videos, man. Like I, I, I watch these videos. Like what do I have to do, right? Like this video is about thirty-one minutes long. Like what do I have to do? Like I can take thirty minutes out of my day, twenty minutes, ten minutes. This video is twenty-one minutes, and I don't got to watch the entire video. But I can watch for the most part and just spend you know an hour reading articles, and then make my bias on a Saturday and call it a day. And call it a day. So I just went through the entire 2022 strategy. Look at the 2020 strategy. Look at the 2021 strategy. And look at the 2022. This strategy. And see what works for you guys. I'm telling you guys. It works for me. Like there's no holy grail. I keep trying to tell you guys. that There's no system that just going to beat the market every single time. All you can do is think of the market in terms of probabilities. And that is what I'm doing. That was That's what works for me. And... Whatever works for you guys, works for you guys. All I can do is go off my experience and tell you guys, and share with you guys, right? And you know what's funny is that I get so many people who, you know, try to chase clout from my videos. There's so many people who watch my videos and either make reaction videos off of it or what they think of it or X, Y, and Z. And then they got a course to themselves that they're plugging. I saw somebody who made a, a video on, I think, one of my strategy videos from last year. And they're, they're, they're a very small YouTube channel. But people, may, people think, like... You gotta understand, like being the king of this this whole YouTube forex industry, that, that does not mean you're oblivious to, to who's in the industry, right? I don't care if you have two subscribers and you made a forex video, or you have two million. If you made a video on forex one time in your entire life, chances are I know who you are. And someone made a video on me talking about my strategy and, and talking about this and talking about that. And um, I remember them from last year, and I actually clicked uh, their website. They had they had a course that they were plugging, you know, they're dissing me and then plugging their own course. And then I remember that they, they don't have a website, it's a basic basic page. Their words describing their program is verbatim the exact same verbiage I had for my blueprint course 
in 2021. I'm not talking about it's similar and he took he took it and spun it. I'm talking about it's verbatim the exact same words. I will know. I wrote it with my lawyer. I remember sending the email in 2020 or 2019, then 2020, and then 20, before 2021, and they copied it verbatim. The same different words, like because it wasn't like I wrote something basic. I wrote like big words after this sentence, a big word, big word. It's the same thing. I'm just like, these people will diss me publicly for the internet and then copy everything I got. Weirdos, it comes to territory. Join the party. If you are out there uh, who got a YouTube channel, you got to diss the people to get your cloud up, you're a weirdo. Um, I, I got to the top by just making good videos. I got to the top by making good trading videos. I got to the top by just being real. I got to the top by being consistent and never had to diss anybody, never had to talk about anybody. I got to the top because I was Swaggy C. There's only one Swaggy C in this industry, and that is me, and that's why the people respect me, and people rock with me on this platform. And I love you guys, and I'm, I'm always gonna be forever loyal to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I got a lot more coming for you guys these next few days. Um, starting with the billionaire hoodie, let's get back into this this, 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 this positivity, this happiness, right? Billionaire hoodie, it is on the Swag Academy right now. Right now, we got this crazy thing going on right now where we are giving you 80 new videos, but also we're, we're sending out free merchandise too your house or sending out ah oh, just freaking pack the trading bible i was going to show you guys the trading bible um here but i'll just b-roll it because um we are packing right now but um you guys will see that on the next secure the swag episode back to what i was saying free merch free trading bible 80 new videos and a potential chance to be have your name in the pool for uh the trading reality show we are doing on a few months other than that, if you guys are interested in that, www.theswagacademy.com. You guys will see on the webinars. The webinars that I put out in this video showing you guys me calling certain things out and saying, hey, it's going to go here, it's going to go here, it's going to go here. Swagacademy.com. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.